Welcome to a shot of caffeine with David, the short burst of practical takeaway tips to grow the performance of your Shopify store. David Visser is our key account manager and growth strategist at Zyva. He's focused on lifting brand's digital strategy to increase conversion rates and ultimately drive ROI. From integrations, omnichannel solutions, and building a brand, David will share his insight over a morning cuppa. Hey guys, Rachel and David here. We're back with a shot of caffeine of coffee with David. David, how many coffees have you had this morning so far? I'm only on my third one, actually. So yeah, not too many yet. Um, but what is it, 8.30? Only. So to me, that seems a lot. What What's the standard day in the world of caffeine for you? Uh, it, it's so up and down, right? See, like I grew up in Europe and my parents would have probably three coffees after dinner still. So um, yeah, maybe it's like ingrained in my DNA that you just drink this stuff through the day. Um, but I do love coffee, definitely love coffee. And I love good coffee as well. Mm. Um, I think the entire Zyber team knows when I joined, I was like, okay, this coffee machine is terrible. We need a new one. And I got a very nice espresso machine through with Leo. So, Yeah, for, for those of you, yeah, we have been to our office. We've got a great coffee machine. And basically that, David was the um, key pivotal role in that. That's like my mum though. She drinks coffee after dinner. Like when I'm making a caramel tea to go to bed, she's, she's making a double shot of coffee. And then, you know, I just feel like that would keep me up all night. Yeah, no, they say, oh, it's good for your digestion, you know, like it kind of mm. kickstarts your digestion. Look, I, I don't know the science on this. But good for my digestion. <laughs> I can have a short black right before bed and still sleep oh. fine, like no problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> so so what's a practical tip today? What are we discussing? Cool. Today we're going to talk about the most important um, flow that you could possibly set up, which is drum the roll. <laughs> drum roll abandoned card flow, right? Like super, super important and crucial one. Um so why, why is abandoned cart the most important one? Well, think about it this way, right? So if you were a traditional retail store and you've got a customer that walks into your shop, they take a trolley and they start putting all sorts of things together that they see on the shelves. They're like, oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. And then they get to just about to the checkout and then they suddenly just walk away. Now in a retail store, bar you jumping out at them at the exit and going, stop, you've left a trolley there. Um, that would be kind of weird, right? Wouldn't it? <laughs> Imagine if they did that, like you'd be like, oh, okay. Um, Although it does remind me of my Nana, who actually, the first time she looked online, she put all this stuff in her cart. And then before she left the website, she took everything out again because she's like, <laughs> oh, I feel really bad. Like, you know, they've already collected all of this stuff for me. Um, anyway, I get sidetracked. So traditional retail store, abandoned cart would be kind of weird. But the beautiful thing in online shopping is that's not the case, right? Like someone might have walked away for whatever reason. You want to make sure that that customer that's already engaged, already put all this stuff ready into their basket for whatever reason has left, like let's try and re-engage them. Let's get them to actually make a purchase. And it's one of the highest converting flows that you'll set up in um, Clavio. So it's definitely a must have. Yeah, because I guess, you know, personally I find if I go to the shop, I'm present there and I'm choosing what I want. Whereas at home, I might be browsing, dinner's on, get distracted, forget about my cart, and then you get the email. So tell me then, David, how does an abandoned flow cart, how can that enhance a brand's revenue? Um, well, really by by re-engaging a customer that was already engaging and, and your case in point, right? Like you might be sitting on the train looking on your phone mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, you get to your stop. So you stop what you're doing um, and you forget about it. That's exactly what happens. So that's why it really drives revenue. In fact, uh, it's certainly not the balance of my bank account, but um, they say that 18 billion US dollars is what people abandon each year in their online shopping carts. So if you want a slice of that pie, make sure you've got this set up. Get those abandoned cart flows. So for our listeners then, you know, how many emails should be in an abandoned cart flow? Yep. Ideal um, generally would be three emails. I would always send the first one um, after one hour. But again, you can really easily through Clavio do experiments with this, right? So experimenting, A, B testing the actual content of the email um, or experimenting with the different timeframes is a really good way to try and find the optimal balance for your brand. Um, some brands will, um, in the third email, for example, include a coupon or even in the second email. What I recommend if you're doing that is make sure that you put a cap on that. So like they can only use that once. Like I know, for example, coming back to coffee with one of the places I buy coffee beans from online, if I abandon my card every single time, they're going to give me a coupon after like 20 hours. And so, um, 
you know, you're kind of training consumers like, cool, don't buy anything, just wait for 20 hours so, and then come back. Um, so yeah, quite often um, what I do, if we do put a coupon in is basically we make that a one-off thing where one customer can only receive a coupon once and use it once. Um, and then the third email could be, hey, your coupon's about to expire. Are you sure you don't want to use it um, kind of thing? So yeah, I think one really cool example of this, if you haven't listened to the podcast that we did with Kalana Kinis a few weeks back together with Clavio, um, is they were actually talking about a plain text email that they do as the first email. And I really like that. It's a really personal way. Like if I go, hey, um, you know, hi, Rachel, I'm David. I'm the owner of the store. And, uh, you know, I've noticed you walked away um, from your purchase. Is there any questions that I can answer for you? Because it's that really kind of personal touch. It's a plain text email. It's not beautifully designed. It's literally just an email saying that, like, and it looks like it's come from me personally to you um, as a customer. I think that's a really powerful way of um, trying to, uh, you know, get people engaged with what you're doing. Like, oh, wow. Like the owner cares so much. They're actually reaching out to me. So, yeah, I guess it's all about split testing eh? and trialing and error what what works. Yeah, hundred percent. And it's so easy through Clavio. So if you haven't done any A-B testing, like don't be scared of it. It's really, really easy to use. And the cool feature is you can actually decide like, okay, you know, who is the winner? Like which email works better? So if you're not sure, like, is my copy good? Mm -hmm. Try tw try two different ones, right? And, and split test it um, and see like, okay, cool. We can clearly see the winner here. Um, and then in Clavio, you can automate that even. So it goes automatically. Great. After two weeks, like this is the winner. This is the one that we're going to be using going forward. Yeah, I guess you'll be able to see what that lag time is from them receiving the abandoned cart load and reconverting on the website as well. 100%, yeah. And you can very clearly see the revenue generated by the flow um, through the dashboard view in um, Klaviyo. So if you, when you enter the site at first, um, when, you, well, when you enter your Klaviyo account at first, um, you can click on the performance tab at the top, which sits under dashboard, and it will literally show you how many dollars it's generated for you by default in the last 30 days. Um, and you might be very surprised with how well that flow is already performing. That's awesome. Anything else do you want to share about abandoned cart flows? No, don't let those customers walk away. Like, you know, bring them back, get them to convert. And uh, yeah, this is really the easiest flow to set up. There's some great pre-built templates in um, Clavio again that you can already use and kind of use as a guiding point to, to build your own personal flow off. Awesome. Thanks, David. Well, guys, we'll pop the links in the show notes for the Kalani Keynes episode with Clavio David mentioned. And thanks for listening and stay tuned as we share more practical tips with David on the shot of caffeine. Keep drinking coffee. <laughs>